Hi, I'm Rick Bidlack with Wheatstone, and I wanted to show you some more advanced features about uh, the multi-track mode in Vox Pro 6. So uh, one of the things you may or may not have noticed is when I make a multi-track uh, composition, if you will, uh, Vox Pro puts a little icon here to the left of the name in the file list, and that icon means that this is a multi-track file. So for example, if, uh, if I'm not in multi-track mode and happen to be playing this file, Hi, Bree. How you, doing? you can tell that it's a multi-track. You, you hear other things beyond what is actually no? well, here what in the editor. I can flip to multi-track mode and I can yeah, see where I'm at. We heard a rooster back here. a little loud, let's put a pad on it. Uh, let's bring it down 14 dB. In fact, let's move it back a little bit closer to the beginning so we can hear it. So now let's play the file from the beginning and we'll hear the effect of the pad on the rooster. But I'm gonna have more tomorrow. What's your name? A lot softer this time. Doing? Okay, so there's a lot of things that we can do with our multi-trick mix here. One of the things um, is to render the mix um, as a VoxPro file. We can uh, create a file that includes everything here. We select this. Um, I'm actually going to name uh, this. I'm going to call it uh, New Multi-Mix and I click OK, and it will show up right up at the top of our list here. I can go to that file, and this is actually a mix of the entire thing that we just did. Our rooster is coming right up. There was our rooster. We hear the music bed, we hear the voiceover, but it's all one file. Okay. Let's go back to that original multi-track. Here's another thing we can do, is we can suck that entire mix, all three tracks, into one of these hotkeys. And the way we do that, we'll pick an empty one here, we right-click, and because we are in multi-track mode, we now have an option down here to import the multi-track mix either as a mono file or a stereo file. Since this has uh, music in it, I'm going to keep it in stereo. I do that, and that was it. We now have that mix on a hotkey. We can also export the mix to a WAV file or an MP3. Again, using the export command. And here you want to make sure that uh, the include support tracks and mix option is selected. These tracks down here are what we call the support tracks, this top track being the title track. Um, we can uh, keep it as a uh, discrete two-channel file, or we could mix it. Let's, uh, let's make a mono mix. Um, and now we have to name it, and I'm going to call this uh, Mono Mix. And uh, right now it would be saved as a WAV file, but I could choose any of five different uh, MP3 uh, compression levels. And let's do that. And up here in the top, it tells us what's happening. It's exporting. It's actually exporting as a WAV file first and then creating an MP3 from that. Now it's done. And if I went to my file viewer, to my music folder, there's my mono mix file right here. So that's a pretty basic overview of uh, different things that you can do with the multi-track feature in VoxPro. There's plenty more. Check out our videos at voxpro.wheatstone.com.